We test a lot of homes and one of the most common issues that we find in all these new homes is the ducted heating return for refrigerative and gas and especially terrible in double storey homes. Today we're going to cover single storey which the return is completely open to the outside. Terrible for the occupants from a health perspective but from an energy perspective this is a huge overhead. Let's go and have a look at these things. Belinda, you moved into this place yep. and um, what was the experience that you had during construction but then now when you've actually moved into it? Well, during construction we were really excited because we're getting our new home. We were really quite concerned about making sure we had a, an efficient air conditioning system and unfortunately it's extremely warm. So we're not sure what's been causing that issue. Yeah. Hence you guys having a look. Yeah. So when you were building the place though, the builder sort of got you to do, do an upgrade as well. Like everyone yeah. was a bit concerned that you wouldn't have Once enough. Once our or... the air conditioning people came around, they suggested a, a larger system to make sure that it would um, have the right amount of power to cool our house during the Australian summer. Yep. So we did that, it was quite expensive. Yeah. Um, after moving in, um, our system just wasn't cool enough. It was yeah. actually quite warm and muggy during yeah. the, the height of summer. Yep. Um, and we were told to add another system. Jesus. Yeah, which would have been another 15,000 plus. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So let's go and have a look now at this return and see exactly what we're dealing with. So Belinda, I've already looked at this return. It's great, it's got a filter and it is dirty. It's gonna need a bit of a clean. But I reckon your air conditioning system's probably uh, quite dirty as well, considering the connectivity. This return is just sucking hot air on a hot day straight into your air conditioner for it to be cooled. Your air conditioner is basically sucking dusty and fibrous air from your roof area, from all the insulation, and pumping it straight through the air conditioner. So this return is basically a critical part of your air conditioning system, and it's directly connected to your roof. Oh. Yep. So this is an air conditioner that's cooling, that you primarily use for cooling, and, and on the days when you really need it, it's not gonna be effective at all and it's sucking a lot of the air in your roof, which is the air that you really don't want because that's where all your insulation is, mm. sucking it straight through your system and then distributing it through your home. My husband and my young son are asthmatic. Is that bad for them? That would be definitely. Okay. Yep. Look, look, look how much it's wow. catching it from. Look at that. Wow. So on a summer's day, yeah. it's actually pulling the hot roof air straight through the return system, yeah. which would obviously make the system run at 100% and it would perform so poorly. Disappointing, guys. What we're doing here is we're just cutting a bit of uh, XPS foam board to be able to use as the cap on top of that return. And it's, uh, it's insulated, it's uh, lightweight, very, very easy to cut. Okay, uh, what we've got is we've got a bit of XPX foam. We're actually going to cap off the top of this return air to make it uh, more user friendly. It's not gonna suck the hot air, insulation, dust through the return system of the air conditioning. Plus it'll actually make the system work a lot better. Um, it'll be more efficient, the air, Temps in the uh, house should be a lot cooler and uh, efficient wise, it, uh, it should use a lot less power to maintain a decent temperature. So, let's go. It's 
all just coming straight back out and none of it's going up into the roof cavity. So uh, we can say this is well and truly sealed. So this is a pretty traditional um, outlet for a floor system, ducted heating system. And, and one of the key areas where uh, these systems can leak is also its connectivity to the floor around these boots. But also the system can potentially leak as well. So that's why we're seeing some air go into this return, but nowhere near as much, you know, before we actually uh, remediated the return. So we've done some testing before and after fixing up this return. It's around about a two ACH difference, which is huge. Your indoor air quality is gonna be way better. But while we were doing all this, we found some other issues as well. Okay, like what? Your exhausts aren't ducted to the outside. You've got a metal deck roof with sarking, so it's quite airtight up there. We need to let that moisture get out. Right. So we have to duct all your exhaust systems, bathrooms, straight outside. You've got quite a few areas that aren't very well insulated, especially your skylights and around all your downlights. Mm -hmm. So that also should be fixed. So does that mean the mould that's currently forming in the roof is no longer getting sucked in by the air conditioner and you know the family won't be breathing in that poor quality air? Correct. Yeah, because you do have some mould starting to grow up there. So we need to get that moisture that you're producing from human activity out directly to, to the outside and then we've reduced significantly the airflow of air from up in the roof coming in, which yes. is what definitely had to be done. Uh, you're gonna gain on your energy efficiency for your cooling, mm -hmm. but you're gonna have to get a guy to clean out that system now, mm -hmm. because a lot of that air from your roof was unfiltered going straight through it. Really disappointing for you know, people who are just trying to build their, their lifelong home, knowing that um, there's all these problems that you just don't know about. Thank you very much.